Be aware of your pollutants. What pollutants hold you back and drag you down? What pollutants do you need to detoxify yourself of? This is where things get a little tricky because it's very easy to define pollutant in terms of biochemistry. Heavy metals are pollutants. Mercury is a nasty pollutant. Excess carbon dioxide in the air as well as methane are well-known pollutants. It's very easy to think of pollutants in strictly physical or biochemical terms. Either we insist that we see it like in the form of sludge, oil spills, or chemical contamination, or detect it in some way or other like in the form of escaping gas. But even if we were to define pollutants in these rather broad terms, they don't go far enough. You see, pollutants take many forms. And until and unless we can open our minds to the definition of these pollutants in terms of a holistic perspective, we sell ourselves short. We unnecessarily restrict the problem and it should come as no surprise that our solutions also come up short. What follows is a holistic definition of pollutants. Until and unless you can wrap your mind around these, the real solution won't come. You'll still feel stuck. You'll still feel that something is missing in your life. You'll still have a tough time making sense of things because you constantly find yourself comparing yourself to others. You have to have a more expansive view of pollutants so you can go through a truly effective detox program. Limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs have done more harm for people than any kind of chemical or physical substance. Think about it. If you can see a sign that says biohazard or you see a radiation warning sign or some sort of chemical spill danger sign, you'd back off. It's pretty straightforward. After all, these are physical pollutants. Not so with limiting beliefs. In fact, a lot of people think that their limiting beliefs are part of who they are. I can't even begin to tell you how many people I've come across who are extremely negative, caustic, and toxic. When I talk to these individuals, they basically tell me, this is who I am, this is all I could be, I was born this way. This is a problem. Unlike physical pollutants, which you can easily see or physically detect through your five senses, mental and spiritual pollutants are more pernicious. They cling to you, kind of like a case of bad B.O., and just like B.O., the longer you have it, the less you smell it. Your limiting beliefs, sooner or later, define you. Remember, your limiting beliefs are your personal filter for reality. It's like a pair of glasses you put on when you look at everything around you. Of course, depending on the color of your lenses, the appearance of your world can dramatically change. Before you know it, you assume that the world really looks like this, but it turns out that you can change those lenses. What makes limiting beliefs so dangerous? So what? We all have these attitude sunglasses. Isn't one just as valid as another? Isn't that part of the diversity of life? What's the big deal about limiting beliefs? Well, limiting beliefs are dangerous precisely because they trick you into thinking that they come from you. You are under the impression that your limiting belief is just restricted to you, that it's part of who you are, that it's the product of you living your life. We make all sorts of grand justifications and explanations about our limiting beliefs. It's kind of like being bound in handcuffs and you spend a lot of time decorating your handcuffs. Maybe you'd be better off realizing that you're wearing handcuffs no matter how beautiful those handcuffs are. Maybe the better approach would be to think about how to take off those handcuffs. But unfortunately, we reach a point with our limiting beliefs that we believe they're a part of our identity and we simply cannot let go of them. In fact, some people take this to the next level and say they will die without these beliefs. They draw neat, tidy lines of limitation around their complete life, who they can be, the things they can do the people they can hang out with, and what their future could look like. The reality behind limiting beliefs. What if I told you that your limiting beliefs are chosen? You don't have to keep saying to yourself that you are dumb, or you don't have what it takes, or that you have no money. You don't have to keep saying to yourself that you're unlucky, or that you're ugly, or too old to get married. Just as you are able to choose them in the first place, you can choose to let them go. At first, you took on a limiting belief casually. You kind of picked it up as you were moving along. But the more you lived your life and the more you believed in that belief and the more you chose it to filter your reality of the outside world, the stronger it became. It became harder and harder to let go. Celebrate your power of choice. The key to detoxifying yourself from limiting beliefs and other forms of spiritual pollution is to rediscover your power of choice. I know you're going to have a tough time taking this in, but you have a choice. You may not think that you're a victim. You may think that your life is already set. You may think that there's really not much you can do about your life. You're definitely welcome to think these things, but they are not reality. You have to understand that victims cannot choose. Life simply inflicts oppression on them. They have no choice in the matter. I'm happy to report that you are never a victim. You can always choose. Even if somebody's inflicting harm on you, you can choose on how to respond. 
If and only if you accept this fact, then you will be on your way to becoming a victor. You know what a victor is? It is somebody who makes things happen instead of somebody who constantly asks in desperation and helplessness, what happened? The good news is you can detoxify yourself from limiting beliefs and other spiritual pollutants, but you must take the first necessary step. You must first realize that you chose your life and you can choose another kind of life. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.